of course, that led to his demise. But I guess the only thing he ended with is to, just to say, yeah, that was amazing. That was, that was really something. Vince, like Adam and Jamie, is thrilled at the result, but not 100%. I got to tell you, I'm elated because our rig worked, but you must be ecstatic. Yeah, yeah, I, I am ecstatic. You know, it's it's the little things though that get you. I'm I'm looking at the grouping of the uh, of the rounds yeah. uh, as they appear in the front of the building, and I'm annoyed at myself because when it came to placing the where the squibs would would hit, I was out there with a drill gun, and I'm I'm thinking, yeah, I think a bullet would go here, I think one would go there. But I you didn't think that they would that. group up at the no, end of their run. I, did, I missed that the rig has to stop and then double back, so there's a lot more grouping at the tail ends, and I, I kind of <laughs> missed that detail, and I'm mad at myself. I, I appreciate your dedication to the, the, the correct physics. Right. I am happy that I believe we can finally call a Breaking Bad test plausible. Yeah! Of busted. <laughs> we finally got one. We finally got one, one out of three, that's not... Not uh, bad at all. That's good in, the, like, baseball. Yep, it was unstable, volatile, and dangerous. But given that the rig eventually worked and the bad guys were brought to justice, there's only one conclusion left to make. Plausible. 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 Let's get out of here. Yes! Still to come. Two. There's fire. One. In the water hole. I know that some of you are probably thinking, what are you going to blow up a bomb in that lake? You're going to kill the fish and the frogs and stuff. And that is totally reasonable to question. But let me explain that Pit 232 here is a quarry lake. As such, its pH level is slightly acidic, about 5.5. And because of that, even though you see the reeds around the edge, there are no living things within this lake. Nothing for us to kill. It's like perfect for blowing stuff up. Underwater explosion in three, two, one. Having failed to blow anything out of the water... Boy, that's anticlimactic. The guys have wired up a new detonation device that's good to go. All right, everybody. Hold Blowing the boat out of the water for reals this time in three, two, one, go. That was astonishing. What a geyser. We did blow the boat out of the water, but there is no more boat. I think technically what we did was we separated the boat into hundreds of little pieces, which we then blew out of the water. Yeah, that works. Okay. <laughs> Our blast happened about 10 minutes ago, and the surface of the water is still incredibly agitated. It's like the water is still reeling from what we did. Absolutely one of the most astonishing phenomena I have ever been lucky enough to witness. Unfortunately, we didn't blow the boat out of the water. We just blew the boat out of existence. <laughs> The goal was to lift the intact boat up and out of the water, something that clearly didn't happen. So was it a case of too much explosive? 